How do you do, fellow artists? What? Hey, welcome back from my not 100% weekly devlogs, and this is number 5. I hope you all enjoyed, or at least didn't mind the buff episode last week. Anyways, let's get to it. After resting on my laurels a bit, following the 0.2.0 release, I finished fleshing out the roadmap for what I'm going to add to the next minor version, the 0.3.0 release. Date TBD. After that, I got down to the business of refactoring. I try to suppress my perfectionist tendencies, and I only really give my code a, a long, hard reworking if A, it doesn't work, or B, it's killing performance. And with the current FPS, at the moment, I'm not worried about performance. But I decided to refactor so that way it'd be easier to add future features I have in the roadmap. And I rediscovered the cold heart addiction I have for lambdas. This definitely won't backfire at all. After that, I decided to figure out just how hard the two big additions, an animated character model and a level with art, would be to add. Much like Step Horse Warriors, I prefer to do a bit of light reconnaissance to find a weaker target and avoid the harder one until later. I spent a few hours learning and trying out UE4 BSP's tools and realized it'd probably be easier for me to make a player model first. So I returned to tradition and I began extruding the cube. I'm not completely terrible with Blender. After all, I edit all my videos with Blender and I have a bit of experience creating animated models from previous projects. But I've never made a human mesh from just a cube before and honestly, I'm a bit rusty. So this was a bit of a small challenge I put out for myself to try for fun and to reacclimate myself to the workflow. And voila! Here it is. I'm still working on it at the moment, but the idea with the base mesh is that I will be able to make alterations to it to create all of the humanoid models. Hopefully it saves me some time, but you know how it is. Anyways, that wraps it up for this week. Easter's coming up, and I hope you all have an enjoyable time. Praise Christ. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. I really do appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that MF in like button. And if you want regular weekly updates on development, consider subscribing. I post pictures of bread early on Twitter, along with the occasional shit post. You can follow me there at dev underscore Natsu. Uh, link in the description. And now, bread. But before I show you, I, I, I gotta warn you, I really screwed the pooch on this one. So I didn't use the oven stone, and you know, when I first pulled it out, I thought I got a really good rise. I thought I nailed it, and I clearly did not nail it. I think I did not let it rise enough. That's what I'm getting at. Or honestly, I forgot to... Usually I feed my starter the night before I make a dough. And honestly, I forgot to, I, I got, I, I, I really enjoy working in Blender, making 3D models, um, in case you can tell by this, this hyper, the hyper fast time lapse I used, but I, I enjoy it. It's fun. You know, I put on a podcast and relax and, you know, it's enjoyable, but I'm, I'm going to try making ciabatta again and I, you should, you know, it, it's, this is not pretty, but it still tastes good. So, you know, uh, make bread and you know, it's not always perfect. It's fine. It's never going to be perfect the first time or maybe even the first dozen times, but make bread. It's good. It's good. It's a good way to spend the weekend. It's great for sharing and it's tasty. And it's, you know, the starter, it's just yeast from the air. It's just flour, water, salt, yeast. It's great. It's delicious. It's good for you. As you all know, I am a strong advocate of making your own bread.